117, 111. Dwayne Ford, 115, 113. What's and up, boxing fans? Roll, this is the Rope of Dope Report. 112, all to the winner by unanimous decision. The Filipino Flash, Norito Dolia. I'm here with the After the Fight box so score edition of the decision. Rope of Dope. Report. I'm your host, Chris Carlson. I'm going to turn this down a little bit and let's get right into this fight. It was a really good fight, and actually, in my preview of this fight, I, I really thought that Concepcion, you know, I rented the pay per view for these reasons. One, the Concepcion um, and uh, Luevano fight. And two for this fight because I knew Concepcion would bring it, but I honestly I thought like mid to late rounds he would either be stopped or so beat up that you know he'd have a problem. But let's talk about it. First round comes out and Donaire. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Donaire comes out looking like Nonita, the, the the special special fighter that I believe he can be. And to an extent is, but he does have some some problems and some things to work on. And he's only 25, so he's got plenty of time to work on him. But we'll get into that later. But the first round he came out, had a, I think it was the right, right I believe it was the right eye um, cut um, Concepcion. And Concepcion swelling and cut, and it looked, it looked like, oh boy. This is exactly what I thought, except faster, you know. But then, Concepcion came out and cut. And, and it really, they said it was a cut, and it was a little cut, but it was actually just the cheekbone that lit up for uh, Donaire. He actually got hit with some big shots, and I gave uh, Concepcion, I gave him the second round. I mean, he, he came out and gave, he gave a fight tonight, and I gotta give him respect. He didn't make weight. That was some bullshit. I'll, I'll say that. He made like 119 and a half when he's supposed to make 115. Who knows what he came in the ring? 125. There's been speculation he weighed 130. Um, but you know, he came to fight no matter what. Um, it would have been crazy if, if he did fight even better and win this fight and couldn't win the titles. But um, you know, it is what it is. Um, it was a great fight, though. Very, very solid fight. I did have Donaire winning it. Um, I think mid-rounds, let me check my scorecard. Mid-rounds, I did have it kind of a tight fight. I had Donaire up by two um, after at, at, at the sixth round. So um, I did make some notes here. Um, let's see. You know, there was, a, there was a lot of great endings to rounds. In the fourth round, there was a, just a great, just both going at it type rounds. Um, in the end, Donaire, his speed, his movement, and his, 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 his pop. Tonight didn't show necessarily his power, but his pop really won the fight. But I will say this, okay, um, and, and big props to Concepcion. Um, he, he fought even better than I thought he would. I thought he'd give him a, like I said, I thought he'd give him a, a, a test, but not this strong of a test. Um, don't, let's talk about no, uh, Nonito Donaire now. He, you know, he's got that, that Roy Jones thing where he puts his hands down and he's on the move and, and he'll throw the one shot. But tonight, you know, he didn't have the combos going. He had some going, but overall... He hardly used his jab. Um, it was funny because after that second round, his trainer in his corner was saying, hey, use that jab. And the first shot out of the third round, first first shot he threw was a jab. It, it was quite funny. But, you know, he has good lateral movement. Um, but if he's going to go up and fight like a, a Fernando Montiel at 118 or even at 115, the way he fought tonight, I don't think he's, he's going to win. Because he did the Roy Jones Jr., okay? And, and you can see with Roy, you need to learn lessons off Roy. When he was younger and he could get away with it, it worked. And it worked great through a handful of weight classes, okay? But you can see in the later stages of his career, it hasn't worked as well. And some of those fundamentals that you need to learn, they really haven't paid off for him. 
Um, he doesn't know how to, you know, do different styles. He doesn't make adjustments in fights. Um, that type of thing will get you in trouble. And remember, Roy Jones didn't get hit like uh, Donaire did tonight. Nonito got hit plenty of times. I mean, Roy Jones would hardly lose rounds, let alone get hit as many times as he got hit tonight. So, before I jump and people jump on Donaire saying he's going to be the next pound for pound, he still has a lot to learn. Like, put your hands up. He even said when he throws shots, his left hand goes down, and his hands go down a lot. And even tonight, he threw such a wide shot that he landed on the ground. So... It was a great fight. It was fun to watch. It was worth the pay-per-view because, honestly, the first fight was a good scrap, too, when I didn't believe it was. So, overall, I thought he, he fought a good fight. He stuck and moved. He brawled. He did stuff like that, but he does need to improve. Um, he's not Pernell Whitaker, you know? And even a lot of people say, oh, Floyd does that. Yeah, Floyd has that one hand up for the most... Most part has that one hand up to block shots and also cocked and loaded with a straight punch. And he uses the shoulder roll, you know. And that's something you can see uh, Anthony Peterson on the first bout of this card use the shoulder roll. And he doesn't use it as effectively. I think James Tony um, kind of had that style for a while. And, and Floyd has perfected that style. So, yeah, he has his hands down, but you can't hit him clean too many times in a fight. And if you hit him within the first four rounds, he'll make um, adjustments, you know. And and so I'm not hacking on him too much. And, and you got to give him credit because the guy came to fight him, and he swung back. And he took those punches. He got buzzed a little bit, but he took those punches. So, you know, it was a great fight no matter what. But let's get to Stephen Luevano against, uh, what's his first name, Concepcion. It is uh, Burnaby. Burnaby, I think that's how you say his name, Burnaby. Um, he came out first round, and, and it was a real boring fight for four rounds. Really boring fight. But that first round, Concepcion came with some right hands that, that, that really landed good. I gave him the first round. But after that, Luevano... Stayed on the outside, used his jab. And for young fighters and people that don't believe in the jab or just like to see brawlers, even brawlers, like a Pavlik, sets up a jab. A jab, he threw, what was the number? He threw 153 jabs in the first four rounds. Now, he didn't land a bunch of them, but it kept Concepcion at bay. And you can say whatever you want about Luevano as far as power, but when Concepcion... Just come on in and try to knock out his opponent if he wasn't getting caught. And that was the key. He outboxed him. He kept it on the outside. He used a jab. And then he countered. And he got in position where he could counter. You know, he, he, he'd see Concepcion come in, adjust and counter. Adjust and counter. He got a lot of good hooks in. Okay, so that fight ended on some weird stuff, though. At the end of the seventh round, um, um, Luevano... Put his hands down a little bit and kind of had a halfway smile, I believe, on his face. And the round was over. The, the bell rang. And Concepcion gave him a, a one-two and actually put him on his ass. And that's how the fight ended. He actually ended that way. It was a disqualification. So it sounds like there's going to be a rematch. Bob Arum said that he wants a rematch. What do I got for time? I got a little time. So, and of course, the, the home crowd, the Filipino crowd, was booing Luevano. Even when he said I'd give him a rematch, he was born, which is, was, was kind of bullshit, you know. But when, once Bob Arum said that there was going to be a rematch, you know, the the crowd responded. So that I'd like to see the fight. I'll tell you what, though. The 5th, 6th, and 7th was better, but it was a slow fight. Um, Mark Magellan, he looked good. He's a southpaw. He's got good movement. Looked good uh, in the fight. He, he's got some things to work on, but he's got good movement. So I think uh, he, he, he looked pretty good against uh, Ze Zepeda, I believe his name is. And then Anthony Peterson, he's been out for a while. Um, he came back against, let me get this name right, Louis um, Ar Arceo. 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 He, he, looked, he gave a fight, and I got to give it to him. I thought it would be a, you know, maybe six rounds, seven rounds, maybe a, a closed eye. But he came to fight. And Anthony Peterson has 29 fights now. He got the rust off tonight, but he needs to fight a top 15 opponent. Anyway, this has been the Rope of Dope Report. I'm your host, Chris Carlson. Peace.